Good morning. Keep it down, folks. Keep it down. You're passing by classrooms. Keep it down. Keep it down. Good morning. When you think of speaking truth to power, you have fun out there. You made that five point shot. <laughs> this See ya. may not be your first image. Where you guys heading? Where's this class heading? But Troy LaRavier will challenge your preconceived notions just as quickly as he'll challenge powerful interests. As he showed when he burst onto the scene. Banning for it will be Troy, and I can't pronounce your name again, but I'll give it a shot. La Ravier. La Ravier. With a blistering speech at the City Club of Chicago. The source of our problem is the city and school officials who raise, spend, and borrow money in a manner that is reckless and corrupt. The source of our problem is the parasitic private sector banks and investors who are always looking for creative ways to rip off taxpayers. He is both an administrator and an agitator. So much so, he was slapped with a warning by the Board of Education and there were concerns with after that speech. Do you worry about the idea that speaking up might cost you your job? I worry far more about the ability of the young people coming through CPS to get the knowledge and skill set that they need to get any job then I worry about me keeping one job. His road to this job really starts with his mother, a white woman who had a baby with a black man in the days when that was taboo. And she was told that by her mother she couldn't bring that child into their home. Um, and so she left. Um, she was told to either give it up for adoption or leave, uh, and so she left. The family bounced between Bronzeville and back of the yards. Thinking he would never amount to much anyway, he went straight from high school to the U.S. Navy at the age of 17. What is it about how I grew up? What is it about my life's experiences that led to me having such a low assessment of myself? He enrolled at the University of Illinois without much of a plan, but once he saw his first report card, straight A's, he had a revelation. I wanted to become a teacher uh, so that no kid like me would come through my classroom and not have a sense of what his or her potential was. He became the principal at Blaine Elementary, and under his leadership, the school excelled. People who Voted. But at the same time the students' achievement scores were rising, the city's budget crisis was deepening. With the financial crisis at CPS. Our pension costs, which we have no control over. The only way to do that is for everybody to come and be part of the solution. That includes the teachers. After decades of underfunding the pension system, including a full 10 years when former mayor Richard M. Daley paid no nothing into the fund. Being mayor of the great city of Chicago. The problem will cost taxpayers billions of dollars to correct. In Aurora, they can focus on education. In Winneka, they can focus on education. In Chicago, because of the way the system's set up, we can focus on a pension payment. We're willing to bring some skin in the game, put some skin in the game. In an interview with WGN News, Chicago Public Schools CEO Forrest Claypool laid out his solution. The mayor said, I'm willing to ask Chicago taxpayers to be part of the solution to this, um, but only if the teachers are willing to do their part too, and that means paying their full 9%. These are the people who, who know nothing about what it's like to be in a classroom. For teachers like Jennifer Campagna, it was viewed as an assault. She says her pension is the completion of her contract, not something extra that can be taken away or changed. What power do we have? We, we don't have the money to, to donate to someone's campaign. But her principal began seeing the damage to teacher morale, and he knew in his role his voice could carry farther than a teacher's. At that point, you have to decide whether you're going to be a company man and toe the line or whether you're going to say what you know about what the evidence says works. Zeroing in on the Emanuel administration, he's drawing attention to the mayor's strategy of borrowing, which he says is only making the problem much worse. Indeed, according to a financial analysis prepared for the Board of Education, the district's pension costs are projected to increase 32 percent over seven years, but the debt service on borrowed money is projected to increase 
350 percent. Being mayor of the city of Chicago. Since Mayor Emanuel began his political career, financial institutions and investment banks have contributed the most money by far to his campaigns. LaRavier says they are the ones profiting while teachers are suffering. Why are these people investing so heavily in him? What is he going to give them access to when he becomes mayor? It turns out he gave them access to not only our current tax dollars, but billions of our future tax dollars. Mayor Emanuel denied that there's any political quid pro quo between his donors and the borrowing. So when somebody says, oh, we don't like that tactic, and I got it, why is that tactic? 15 years when nobody was talking about it, and that there was either n nominal payment or zero they created the problem. This month, the Emanuel administration managed to borrow $725 million by promising those investors extraordinarily high interest rates. But I want my son to grow up in a city and to become an adult in a city in which he'll be safe and have an opportunity to thrive and grow. 44. And perhaps when it comes to speaking truth to power, Good to meet you too. his words may indeed echo from these halls to this one. Would you ever want to run against this mayor? <laughs> Would I ever want to run against this mayor? I want a better city. I want the city that I talked about for my son. And I'm willing to do anything I have to do to make sure he gets that city.